organization. We're going to put you in jail for multiple lifetime sentences. It's absolutely amazing what I've seen in this, this case against Ross. And people need to understand your life is on the line as well. It's not just Ross's life that's being destroyed. They will come after you. I'm interested because the reasons that they put him in prison could happen, the same thing could happen to any of us. The president said with the things, the ways that they put him in prison, like transferred intent, like I'm responsible all of a sudden for somebody else's actions. That's pretty dangerous. It could happen to any of us. Uh, parallel construction, where the NSA surveillance that's illegal, that's being used on American citizens, will be used to construct a case against you, and then they can come out and just make up like a paper trail and say, oh, here it is, we can put you in a cage for your life, for double your life, for double your life plus 40 years, for double your life plus 40 years plus $180 million. So if we just let these things go unchecked, what kind of world are we gonna be living in in 20 years? Honestly, I think this case is, it's really more of a call to action. Uh, of course, you know, we wanna get Ross out and we want to, uh, you know, have the opportunity to, to share freedom with him. But just to, to express these ideas, to build this community, to come together uh, around the cause. Ideas are incredibly important. And so the politicians respond to incentives. And if we can change hearts and minds uh, by talking about, you know, Ross's case and, and the implications that it, it has in so many different areas of policy, not just drug policy, if we can change their hearts and minds, they can talk to their, student, their fellow students, their family members, their loved ones about this case and its implications. We can really change the world. But then when I heard about what a grotesque miscarriage of justice it was, I thought, how can any person of conscience not be involved in this cause? This is really basic. This means locking someone away, denying him or her all of his life, and any dignity and the ability to live in semblance of a normal life. And how hideous that is. That's something that's just really basic. That isn't anything that you have to be a libertarian or an anarchist. You just have to be a decent human being to understand that. And I think that's where you reach people. Talk to your religious groups and talk to where you hang out with people, your sports clubs, the things that you do that are outside of politics. And that's where you reach people. In the meanwhile, I think we need to be spreading this message. Um, I grew up in apartheid in South Africa. Um, I was part of, you know, I was an anti apartheid. Um, activist, you know, and in the late 80s and early 90s, we saw the big free Mandela movement, and I really wanted to see the free Ross movement get there, and, you know, we need to think about ways that that can happen, and I think for that, we're going to need a lot of international support. We've got a lot of work to do, but, you know, I look at it like this, you know, the, we, we build the future that's in our heads right now. It's what we care about now that's going to determine what kind of future we have. It's the ideas we hold in our heads. It's, it's whether we care. Um, and the more people we can inspire to, to be involved in cases like this, the better the future is going to be. I would recommend as well, everyone that can, make a donation uh, today if you, if you can. I mean, this is an incredibly important issue. Anybody out there that can afford to you know, chip in, contribute to this cause, it's worth it. And uh, I believe in when I say freedom is what this is all about. And uh, let's continue forward spreading that message. I just want to encourage people to donate to uh, the Free Rossathon. It is really a good cause. And you are donating to your future freedom as well. It's not just for Ross, it's for you as well. Just having so many people support us and so many people hear us and so many people listen to what's really going on, just it, it just keeps us going. It makes us feel like there is hope and there is a chance and that Ross will be free. And I'm just so, so grateful to everyone. Thank you. And the progress of civilization that we've seen over over, over really 3,000 years has been, it's depended very heavily on, on people who care about cases just like this. In a way, it's the most important thing you can do because uh, human rights are universal and freedoms are universal. And when, when somebody has been singled out the way Ross has been done, uh, to be made an example of for a purely, what I, for what I can tell, a purely political case, um, that's a serious uh, problem. And you can make a contribution to freeing the world and making the world a more just and humane place by, by caring, by praying, by, by sending your contributions, sending your notes, and just by being here. It, it, it shows that you, you can do something for the, for the sake of humanity. There was a man who did the unspoken. He looked for freedom from the violence. No one is perfect and 